Hey everybody, it's Craig Bentley here, and in this video, I'm going to show you some of the new camera features in the new iPhone XS Max, as well as some of the video settings. All right, let's get started. The iPhone XS Max came out a few days ago, and I wasn't going to upgrade. So in this video, I'm going to tell you why I did. So last year, I upgraded to the iPhone X, and to be honest, I wasn't that impressed with it. And I wasn't that happy with the camera features compared to what Samsung had offered. So I was at Best Buy the other day. The phone just came out. I had a look at it. I thought the size was a good improvement over the original iPhone X, but also the camera features I thought were pretty cool. So one thing I like about it is the new portrait mode and how you can blur the background. So it's almost like you shot this on a telephoto lens at f1.4. You have that ability. Because oftentimes you'll find yourself out without your good DSLR camera or your mirrorless camera, and you usually have your phone in your pocket. So now you can take better quality photos just about anywhere. So that was one of the reasons. So let's go have a look at that new feature. All right, in this clip, I'm gonna demonstrate how you can blur the background using the portrait mode on the new iPhone XS Max. You now you can see here, we're simulating different apertures. So F5.6, F4, F2.8, we're gonna go right to F1.4, and it really simulates shooting this on say like an F1.4 Prime. And it does a good job through software of cutting out your subject and blurring that background. So it's a pretty cool feature. Now also, if you click on the camera settings, you can make some adjustments. You can put a grid on by just flicking that on, and that'll help you compose your photos using the rule of thirds. Now also you can record video at different settings. We have 1080p 30, 1080p 60 frames per second, 4K 24 frames, 30 frames, and 60 frames per second at 4K. Now also too, you can shoot in slow modes. Now the slow modes you'll see in a second, you can shoot that all the way up to 240 frames per second. So you can see here, you just click on the slow mode. You can see at 1080p, you've got 120 frames or you've got at the bottom there, 1080p HD at 240 frames in a high efficiency mode. So that's pretty cool. It does a great job of shooting video as well. And then you have smart HDR. If you look down at the bottom, you can also record in stereo sound as well with the new iPhone XS Max. So it's a great improvement over the previous iPhone in my opinion. So let me know what you think. Now that you've seen the new portrait mode on the iPhone, if you have an older model, would that make you upgrade? Are you thinking of upgrading to that? And if you're a Samsung user, would you switch from Samsung to iPhone? Let me know in the comments section below. Up in a couple of days, I'm gonna be looking at the new Apple Watch 4, so look out for that video as well. All right, subscribe right to here, and I'll see you in the next video.